Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Checkerboard Kid Show, and the name of this episode is Talkin' Phil Oaks. Can we have a little strumming music over here? A little... Yeah, so put up put up the title. Talkin' Phil Oaks. Yes, thank you. Now put up the picture of Phil Oaks so everybody knows it's not Phil Esquire the Boy Genius in full effect. No, Phil Oaks. Give me the shot of Phil Oaks. Do we have a shot of Phil Oaks? No, really. Yeah, there it is. There's Phil Oaks right now. Phil Oaks, he was a great guy. He was from El Paso, Texas, you know? Well, he was born there. His, uh, his father moved around a lot. His father was a doctor, but he wasn't very, very successful as a businessman, so they tended to move a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, my, my, my guest for today in the Talking Phil Oaks section of the Checkerboard Kids program, Mr. Joel Landy. Let's hear, let's hear it for him. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Joel Landy is also a, a, a school teacher, much like I am. I mean, he's, in, he's not, a, we're not uh, too proud to say that uh, we're here. We're also... Uh, TV people in our own uh, minds here, and uh, you're gonna do a little. We're gonna be talking Phil Oaks today, but also singing some Phil Oaks. So let's hear a little bit. Questions. Phil asked a lot of questions in his time, and one of them was, um, "Is there anybody here who'd like to change his clothes into a uniform? Is there anybody here?" Who thinks he's only serving in a desert storm? Is there anybody here with glory in his eyes? Loyal to the end, whose duty is to die? I want to see him. I want to wish him luck. I want to shake his hand. Want to call his name. Put a medal on the man. Who'd like to wrap the flag around an early gray? Is there anybody here who thinks he's standing taller on a battle way? Is there anybody here who'd love to do his part? Soldier to the world and a hero to his heart. I want to see him. I want to wish him luck, want to shake his hand, call his name, put a medal on the man. Is there anybody here so proud of the parade who'd love to give a cheer and show he's not afraid? I'd like to ask him what he's trying to defend. I'd like to ask him what he thinks he's gonna win. Is there anybody here who thinks that following the orders takes away the blame? Is there anybody here who wouldn't mind a murder by another name? Is there anybody here whose pride is on the line with the honor of the brave and the courage of the blind? I want to see him, want to wish him luck. I want to shake his hand, call his name, put a medal on the man. Is there anybody here so proud of the parade Who'd love to give a cheer To show he's not afraid I'd like to ask him What he's trying to defend I'd like to ask him What he thinks he's gonna win Is there anybody here Who thinks that following the orders Takes away the blame is there anybody here who wouldn't mind a murder by another name? Is there anybody here whose pride is on the line with the honor of the brave and the courage of the blind? I want to see him. I want to wish him luck. Wanna shake his hand, wanna call his name, put a medal on the man, put a medal on the man. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, Joe Landy you, over with, with you. All right, now uh, I have to give big props to Rich that hooked up this uh, screen up here above me. Hey, can you, can you show the screen over here? The world's biggest plug for YouTube that anybody ever seen in the in the world, <laughs> right? But but they need it. yeah, like they need it, right? But yo, they got lots of cool Phil Oaks stuff up there, and um, actually we're gonna be taking some calls, and we're not like taking live calls, but we got some some great guests that uh, that have been lining up here. So let's 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 patch one through right now. Uh, calls for Phil and Joe Landy. So let's let's hear the Phil Oaks experts. Like we're experts here, folks. But uh, I think you are an expert. I'm, no, no, I'm not an expert. I'm a, I'm an enthusiastic um, uh, listener and. Reader. Reader, but so, so, uh, I wouldn't so call myself uh, an expert. They, 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 they had a word for it. They said uh, 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 something about the broadside balladeer, broadside balladeer. Like, I'm for the broadside balladeer. So throw through the first call, will ya? Let's hear. Any calls? Kenny calls? Harkin? Okay, so the first caller's there. Let's, let's turn up the caller so we can hear it. Caller? Are you there? Hello? All right. Uh, well, while well, well, we're trying to get the other call, Zach is on. Zach's on. Where? Zach's on. That used to be my favorite game when I was a kid. <laughs> I tell you. I, hold it. No, I see. I see. It says on. Wow. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Zach? Hey, how's it going over there? Yeah, it's going cool. You're sounding good, man. He's, you're calling all the. You're sending us a tape from California. You're live uh -huh. from California now. Yeah. Yeah. Now this was uh, Zach over here is the person that introduced me to Phil Oaks. No kidding. Yeah, not me personally to Phil Oaks, but when when I was a kid, uh, I think this was during my college years, right? Zach? Uh, I think so. Yeah, this was a uh, I think a uh, late '80s. And he would constantly be playing Phil Oaks, and I'm like, what is this music? For goodness <laughs> sake! And I thought it was fantastic. Which which album was it, Zach? Which album was it? Oh, you know, a whole bunch of them. I think it was a mix. All the news is fit to. Thing and mm -hmm. Phil Oaks in concert, just whatever yeah. I could find, you know. Yeah, I, I, I had an upstairs neighbor who uh, who had uh, all the LPs. Oh, the holy, holy! Can can you drop the neighbor's name? You know the neighbor's favorite, so so can we drop the name? The the neighbor is Tuli Cooperberg. He yeah. was in the Fugs. Yeah, uh, the lead singer of the Fugs. Yeah. Fugs. So what attract what is what attracted you most to Phil Oaks's music? Um, I I'm not sure exactly. It, it was kind of weird. I. Uh, my uh, my dad used to sing his songs to me when I was really little. His dad's a great pianist. My dad's pianist. a musician too, mm -hmm. and um, he'd sing them to me, but I didn't remember until Phil Oaks died, and they had a retrospective. So this was '76 that he mm -hmm. died, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was hearing these songs on the radio on the retrospective, and I was like, these songs sound really familiar, and uh, I just it really struck a real chord with me and mm -hmm. after that I just was it a chord of fame? It. Never mind. It was a chord of fame. Never but mind. Never mind. Um, but now now your father uh, he had interactions with Phil Oaks. This is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Kind of a sad story. Okay, go ahead. He um when uh, when Phil Oaks was pretty much at the at the end of his rope, uh, a mutual friend actually brought him over to my dad. Um Phil was uh, like really suicidal at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, so the friend thought maybe my dad could help, mm -hmm. you know, talk to him, and uh, talk him out of it. Mm -hmm. And they talked for a really long time, but uh, I guess uh, didn't didn't help. Well, Phil, Phil, if you know, if we had if we had uh, some med the medication that we have now back then, he'd probably sure. still be alive. He yeah. was a manic depressive, and that's that's clinically known at this point. That's, that's the things that did. Well, we didn't uh, have lithium, and we didn't have also. any of that stuff, so uh, his swings what? were rather rather uh, severe. Yeah, wasn't he a little more than manic depressive? Didn't they I all mean, say did... he had multiple personalities too? Yeah, uh, he, he would sometimes go performing as uh, what was the name? Uh, John, John Train. Train. John something trained. John something trained. Like I don't. I don't have a degree in science, you know, I, or, or medicine. But um, it's clear he he might have been able to get some better help. But nowadays, I I, 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 I I've uh, I've corresponded uh, many times with, and I've spoken regularly, uh, irregularly with with Sunny Oaks. That's his sister. And, his sister. Yeah. And, so did and, he have any kids? Did he have any kids? Uh, did, did he have any kids? Did Phil Oaks have any kids? Uh, he was yeah, married he once. He has a daughter. daughter. He has a daughter in California. Uh -huh. She's an activist, too. Uh -huh. Well, so what did Sonny Oaks have to say? Well, she, she, you know, she told me that uh, he wasn't a well guy. Uh, if we had the medicine now that we had back then, he'd probably still be around. Um, Dern but, skipping. 
you know, um, it's one of those things. Now, I, I can tell you that there's a wonderful organization where there are a lot of people who uh, revere Phil, but they're, they're great songwriters and singers in their own right. It's called the People's Music Network. And if you want to go to PM, uh, peoplesmusic.org, uh, you can find out more about the People's Music Network. There are two gatherings, one in the winter and one in the summer. Yeah. The winter one we just had in Philadelphia a couple of weeks ago. It's usually the last weekend in January. And if you want to meet Phil Oaks kind of folks... This is where Phil you Oaks do it. Folks. You Phil Oaks it. folks. And in the summer, in the first weekend in June, right here in the Catskills, we, uh, right, well, actually in Rosendale, outside of New Paltz, there's a, there's a summer camp that hasn't opened yet, you know, by, in the beginning of June. And I'm inviting the world to be a part of the People's Music Network. Go to peoplesmusic.org and check it out. So peoplesmusic.org, check that out. Yeah. All right, so um, all right, we have more, uh, more guests to call in, and but but how about a little bit more Phil? I, I I was requesting. Now I noticed that you were doing a little a little bit of tweaking on the songs here because um, Phil Oaks, a, a revolutionary writer. Are you gonna are you gonna stay? You can stay on Zach and listen to a little bit more if you'd like. Or you got to yeah. go. Okay. So because I noticed that um um. You would do like changes, updating the songs for nowadays. Yeah, well, that's that's definitely Phil would be keep. You know, yeah, you, you know he'd be writing verses. Definitely, definitely, and he would be. And, and I, I feel a lot of people now would say that Phil Oaks is needed more now than ever. I I, it's amazing when, like, I, I meet a lot of young singer songwriters these days, and a lot of them want to. They, they, they are want to be the next Phil Oaks. Uh huh. And oh, that, you know, you can see him. I, I saw a kid on YouTube, little kid playing for for But Fortune Go On. But I, I tell you, I, I got a. I heard your version of Cop of the world and I thought that was fantastic you updated it so well concisely so I say Zach I think you're gonna like this one well so I, listen up okay, I'm, not, I'm not gonna play cops not? of the world right now I think really? I think we need a shot of humor at this humor? point okay <laughs> things are getting more. a little heavy around here true that true that okay you know and um, but the, but the, there's a way to update of a lot of songs that he'd still be writing go for it. Um, well how about I'm only 18, got a rupture's glee. I always carry a purse. Got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat, and my manner's getting worse. Oh, think of my career, my sweetheart dear. My poor old invalid aunt sides, I ain't no fool. I'm going to school, working for a defense plant. Now, this song came out in the, during the Vietnam War. Draft you know, right. it's called the Draft Dodger Rag. This hey, was a time a in our show. history when, let's see, we were involved in a war many miles away, sending a lot of young people to their doom. Mm -hmm. um, Sounds familiar. And what, what I find about Phil's music is it's more relevant now than it used to be. Here, here. Did we learn anything? Have we? Talking to us, I don't know if we were listening. Well, I'm just a typical American boy from a typical American town. I believe in God and Senator Dodd. We still have one, you know. Really? And putting all Castro down. He's and not when down it yet. came my time to serve, I knew better dead than red. So when I went to my old draft board, this is what I said. I'm only 18, got a ruptured spleen. I always carry a purse. Got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat, and my asthma's getting worse. Oh, 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 think of my career, my sweetheart dear. My poor old invalid and sides, I ain't no fool. I'm going to school and I'm working for a defense plan. I've got a disconnected disc and a racked up back. I'm allergic to flowers and bugs. Whenever a bomb hits, I get epileptic fits. And I'm addicted to a thousand drugs. Oh, got the weakness woes. I can't touch my toes. Can hardly reach my knee. And if the enemy came close to me, I'd probably start to sneeze. I'm only 18, got a ruptured spleen. I always carry a purse. I got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat, and my asthma is getting worse. Oh, oh, think of my career, my sweetheart dear. Poor old invalid and size, I ain't no fool. I'm going to school and I'm working for a defense plan. I hate Joe and Lai. I hope he dies. But there's one thing you gotta see is that someone's gotta go over there. And that someone isn't me. So I wish you well, Sarge, give him hell. Kill me a thousand or so And if you ever get a war without the blood and gore I'll be the first to go I'm only 18, got a ruptured spleen I always carry a purse Got eyes like a bat, my feet are flat And my asthma's getting worse So 
think of my career, my sweetheart dear. Poor old invalid and besides I ain't no fool. Going to school, working for a defense plan. Now, that's the last verse he wrote, but I bet he'd be writing more if he were around. You got a couple more? Oh, well, well, let's see. What would we say? Oh, yes. I am the prez. I am the one who says we've got to fight this war. I'm a chicken hawk. That means I talk. And my daddy isn't poor. So excuse me while I lie and smile and give your money to my friends. And if the terrorists don't kill you first, just wait till my last first ends. Ouch. Yeah, yeah well, that's some crazy stuff. Well, thank you. thank you. Draft Dodger rag, you know. I mean, we we still have draft Dodger rags. Um, let's say we still have some draft Dodgers, but now, like you know, one's a vice president. One's, Ouch. One's a president. So uh huh. I guess we call that progress in this country. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I have a question now. Since we're talking, uh, Phil Oaks over here. Now, Zach, you were telling me that there there's some films that about about Phil Oaks, right? Yeah, I think there's something that came out like uh, called Chords of Fame. Chords of Fame. Yeah, I don't know where to find it though. I've never seen it, but it doesn't seem to be available anywhere. Uh huh. Now, 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 the big thing is, I remember Sean Penn was a really big fan of Phil Oaks, introduced to him by his his brother Michael Penn. Um, yeah. Uh, and he was really big into Phil Oaks, and uh, he was working on a film. He wanted to play Phil Oaks himself, and it never did quite come to pass. I know, but he's really big. Oh, the second phone call is ready. All right, Zach, Zach, we're gonna bring in our second caller. But thank you so much for calling in. Well, Zach, thank you. Zach from thank California. you, Zach. And we'll, we'll, we're going to put this up on YouTube, and you'll be able to see yourself uh, in the whole nine. All right? So any, any musical requests? Zach? Okay, then I guess <laughs> I hope you don't call. embarrass me here. Uh -huh. All right, hold yeah. on. Now let's, let's throw through our other caller. All right, are other callers in? Yes. Hey, what's up? This is uh, Dana from New York City calling in, representing here. Hi, Dana. Yeah. So, so we had a call. For, were you able to hear all that? I could not hear it. I heard something very much in the distance. Okay, well, I guess you'll be able to hear some stuff now. So uh, now you're going to tell us about your first experiences with uh, Phil Oaks. Okay, I never met Phil Oaks, but I loved his music from a young age. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say I must have been about 17 years old. Mm -hmm. I was at a camp in the summer. This was for teenagers. I don't know what they were doing there, making, building houses, uh, doing a lot of artsy kind of things. And I didn't do so many artsy kind of things, except I learned that summer how to play the guitar uh -huh. and the first two songs that i learned were songs by phil oaks one was i ain't a marching anymore excellent That's and the other song. one was what's that i hear now what's that i hear now? and i just adored these songs they were so meaningful to me uh -huh. um first of all they were easy to play in the guitar i mean i had had an extensive background in, in classical music i studied at the juilliard school for for Saturdays for like seven years of my life, but wow. this was folk music. This was fun. Yeah. I mean, I love classical music. And also, I, I know that you're very big into uh, political. I know you're very big into Martin Luther King. And, yes. and, and Yeah, so and, it, it and, means a lot. And Philip spoke to me so deeply because I ain't a marcher anymore. He was talking about why are we sending people into war? Why yeah. are we... You know, even with World War One, I, I marched to the Battle of the German Trench in a war that was bound to end all wars. Um, we're still asking those questions. We're asking the question. It is. It is just too real and too relevant today. It's, here, here. it's the same song, just with yeah. a different word, except for not Vietnam. Now it's Iraq. It's, yeah, and exactly. I just. It, it's profound to me. Mm -hmm. Also, he had a lot of meaning for me because besides uh, singing about the war, and I just loved him for that alone. Mm -hmm. He also sang about the racism in Mississippi, for example. Oh, for sure, for sure. He. he uh, what, what songs did he do? Joe Hill? Here, he well, no. Here's, oh, sorry, here's to, to the state, state of Mississippi. Mississippi. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Here's to the state of Mississippi. And then he, in one song, I remember, uh, Too Many Martyrs. Oh, Medgar Evers. Was it, was yeah, Too Many Medgar Martyrs. Evers, yes. Too Many Medgar Martyrs. Evers, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. The Birmingham uh, Talking Blues, too. He mm -hmm. did that about. Really? Right. I, was, I was confused. That was Joe Hill. I get confused. All right. 
But I go. mean, in other words, he not only spoke, uh, he sang of Medgar Evers in Mississippi, right. but he even mentioned Emmett Till. And mm -hmm. back in 1963, I don't think a lot of people were talking about Emmett Till at that time. He also, he also wasn't afraid to uh, say things and sing about songs that might not have made him popular. He right. wrote a song he, called Christ, Canons of Christianity, yeah, boy, that was really. which, was, which, is, which was really a broadside about organized religion in, in a certain direction. But yeah, he also wrote about um, links in the chain when the, when the labor movement in this country, uh, uh, well, and in a way, got in the did not stand forward when civil rights was happening, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that was the union movement. And uh -huh. of course, you know, we say positive things about that, yeah. but he wasn't afraid to call it the way it was, even exactly. though it might alienate exactly, even if it wasn't popular. Yeah, so, same thing like Martin Luther King. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, yeah, you hear about him, Martin Luther King, talking about uh, how. How he was against, you know, racism and stuff like that, but you never hear about him being against the war. Well, well they, they, I they, hear they about him being against the war, and that's what I have. Well, you do I, hear about that, but I object so strongly to a uh -huh. to the way that he is uh, that King is still sanitized. Yeah, uh, about that. Oh yeah, yeah, but but the thing is, you know, he wasn't killed after the civil rights. He was killed after speaking out against Vietnam. Exactly. So. That's, that's, yes. that's a lot of stuff they do not. He yeah. Was killed. Yes. And then they rewrite time to make it seem like so nice and neat. And well, I, I always think it's funny every year what during during uh, Martin King Day when President Bush. Oh, I said that word. Martin King. When George Bush <laughs> actually. <laughs> it doesn't give you a very, no, very no. Now I'm on. You know, the thing about the digital team. age now, they know that Joel said, "President." Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> he, he's but, not my president, right? No. The the point is, you know, how they sanitize some nice statement about uh, King. But what would King say about George Bush? You know, if the mm. if, uh, the situation was reversed. No. But mm. never mind. We're talking about Phil Oaks tonight. Right. And right. getting back to Phil Oaks, there was one thing about. Him. Again, what I loved about him was that he was just so forthright, so unafraid to just speak it so simply, so strongly, uh, the things that he believed in. And yet there was also in him, he, wa he, he loved this country. He wanted to believe so fervently in this country. The, the song, Power and the Glory. Power and the Glory, hey! All right. All right, I'll tell you what, Nina, stay, if, you can, if you can't stay on the line a bit, uh, Joel's going to play a little, is that all right? I would love to all right, hear that. All right, you go know, ahead. You know, there are some songs that might deserve to be the national anthem. Well, this I think this one, one should be, personally. Power uh, and the Glory. One reason is because, like, who could sing the Star Spangled Banner? I mean, <laughs> it's a very complicated but, song. Why don't you take a walk with me through this green and growing land? Walk through the meadows and the mountains and the sand. Walk through the valleys and the rivers and the plains. Walk through the sun and walk through the rain. This is a land full of power and glory. Beauty that words cannot recall. Oh, her power shall rest in the strength of her freedom. Her glory shall rest on us all. From Colorado, Kansas, and the Carolinas to Virginia, Alaska, from the old to the new, Texas and Ohio and the California shore. Tell me who can ask for more? This is a land full of power and glory, beauty that words cannot recall. Oh, her power shall rest on the strength of her freedom. Her glory shall rest on us all, on us all. But she's only as rich as the poorest of her poor. Only as free as a padlocked prison door. Only as strong as our love for this land Only as strong as we stand This is a land full of power and glory Beauty that words cannot recall Oh, her power shall rest On the strength of her freedom Glory shall rest on us all On us all now, if Phil were around, he'd still be writing verses to this one, too. Yeah, what do you say? Now our country has its constitution threatened once again with deeds of thieves and the words of greedy men. It's treason, they say, when we tell them they are wrong. 
It's up to you and me to sing out strong. This is a land full of power and glory, beauty that words cannot recall. Oh, her power shall rest on the strength of her freedom. The glory shall rest on us all, on us all. Bravo. All right. Thank oh, my God. Yeah, the that's... intonation, everything. That was incredible. I, to I told you, this guy, the, I, when I... When I first when I first discovered Joel, I feel like I first discovered uh, how long have you been doing your show, Joel? Since 1492. <laughs> uh, no, really, I'm sure. I'm sure the the indigenous people that were here really enjoyed the stuff. But but seriously, um, there goes the neighborhood. No, when I first when I first discovered Joel, I, I heard somebody playing some Phil Oaks down here, and I just like who who dares play Phil Oaks around <laughs> here? And I run downstairs, mm. and Joel's just tuning up, and I'm just I was mesmerized. He's mm. fantastic. I agree. Well, thank you. Excellent. Now, now, let's see. How are we doing on time? I'm trying to get a straight tw 28 minutes through. How, how are we doing? What? Three minutes left? Three minutes left? All right. Holy smokes. What? Two and a half minutes left? All right. Well, I'm going to ask Joel to play us out with a little bit more, but um, plug your show, Joel, will you? Okay. Well, I, I have a show. Like, Phil has this show here. My, the name of my show is called Songs of Freedom. Um, we're on in Manhattan on 8.30 uh, on Channel 34, alternate Tuesdays now. And, check it out, uh, and then check out our show, We're too. also on the Internet, you know. I mean, so if MNN.org, Channel 34, mm -hmm. same thing with this show right now, coming to you streaming. Um, also, also, we're on in Brooklyn, too. So if you're in front of your computer on Wednesday nights at 11 o'clock, you can go to uh, Brooklinks, that's brooklynx.org org slash mm -hmm. bcat oh, and, ah, and you yes. can watch that on channel 68 I right think. and we're going to try to get this up on uh, some youtube action so we want yeah it. And and you have a website to too for, yes i do www.singfreedom all right singfreedom.org and, and, and also i want to give a i want to give some fat shout outs to my people over here that helped made this show happen um let's see who who i got over here uh i got annie i got debbie i got the vex in full effect i got keith jacks Mm. In the heezy baby, I got Beta, I got the Just Landed Posse, I got Zach, I got Nina calling in, I got Rich hooking us up with this fat uh, YouTube set over Very here, nice. over here, and Eminem, and of course, Joel Landy, ladies and gentlemen, Thank fantastic. You. All, All right. right, so cool, so play us out, Joel, come on, go for it. Okay, well, uh, why don't we do this one? All right, go for it. Uh, this is How are we doing on time? Huh. What, one minute? Go for it, Joel. Okay. Wade into the river Through the rippling shallow water Steal across the thirsty border Bracero Come bring your hungry body To the golden fields of plenty from a peso to a penny For a say Welcome to California Where the friendly farmer Will take care of you Come labor for your mother, for your father and your brother, for your sisters and your lover. Bracero, come break the fruits of yellow, break the flowers from the berry. Purple grapes will fill your belly. Bracero, welcome to California, where the friendly farmer will take care of you. The sun will bite your body While the dust will draw you thirsty 
And your muscles beg for mercy For say, In the shade of your sombrero Drop your sweat upon the soil Like the fruit your youth can spoil For say, California Where the friendly farmer Will take care of you As the weary night embraces Sleep in shacks That could be cages they will take it from your wages. The Sero Come sing about tomorrow with the jingle of a dollar and forget your crooked collar. The Sero Welcome. men are lazy and they make too much of trouble besides we'd have to pay them double the Sahara ah but if you think you're falling if you find the pace is killing there are others who are willing Zero. Welcome to California, where the friendly farmer will take care of you. Yeah. Woo, fantastic. All right. Cool. Excellent. Thank you, Joel. <sighs> Thank you, Phil. Always wanted to do this. Movie. All right. Cool. Now, what is Brazero about, if I could ask? Brazero is about the immigration situation. Oh, right. And the workers in California. Right. Uh, that, that was uh, Chavez. 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 Cesar Chavez. Chavez. Yeah, Chavez. And listening to Joel, I'm telling you, I just miss Phil Oak so much. Mm. And we need him today, don't we? All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you a million.